A moment of individual brilliance from Ricky January clinched a hard-fought test victory for the box. Sensational. Oh, what a try! For the All Blacks, it ended a record home-winning streak, but they certainly didn't leave Carisbrook embarrassed. Now, this team has won 30, 30 consecutive test matches at home over, a, what is it, a five-year period. And at some stage you're going to get beaten. We got beaten tonight by a side that's very experienced and played well. And you just got to take that on the chin and, and hopefully learn from that experience and get better. Referee Matt Goddard set the tone early. Anything even near the shoulders was to be penalised. He was to blow 33 penalties and free kicks in all. There was more off the ball niggle. Box hooker Bismarck Duplessis cited for contact with Adam Thompson's eye area. But arguably the biggest impact on the game was when Ali Williams took a head knock after 13 minutes. The All Black scrum wilted. He eventually went off, but he should play Australia in two weeks. Kevin O'Neill came on for his debut to partner Anthony Borich in just his third test and take on the 122 combined caps of Victor Matfield and Bucky's Bolter. And the box capitalised. Now off the back goes the near cap. Plenty of time here. And JP Peterson is in. The shell shocked All Blacks reverted to long range drop goals. The box were better at it and took a 17 15 advantage into the break. Whatever was said at half time, it worked. Got a nice pass away. Still going. Here's a chance. Lawaki! Loose pass over Carter. Has to turn and drop kick for goal. And puts it. After multiple warnings were dished out, box captain Victor Matfield paid for one of the less dangerous incidents. Carter made them pay with the last of his 23 points. With six minutes left, the All Blacks seemed to have it until January made the last of his many breaks around the ruck. A controversial selection as the new box coach, Peter de Villiers, felt vindicated. If we can stand up like we did today as, as, as a group, um, people will change their own opinions. From going forward from this situation, I think if our guys can build on what they did in the second half today, we're going to be a pretty competitive side in this competition.